There are 8 million stories in the big city. There are 8 million stories in the big city. This is mine. What? No ice cream. No dairy. Get your stomach and your gut health together. It's Fresh 2020. Stay sane Sunday, Sundays. Tomorrow will be Monday. Monday. One day you wake up hungry. Hungry. Look in the middle of your head and find a little hair that's gray. That's what happens to us all. We age walking our friends home. We go alone to get along. Help each other problem share, problem solve. You get it, brother. Each one, teach one. It's not rocket science unless you work at SpaceX. I'm lying. The probability of you complying with every law while you're driving is simply zero. How they enforce it, DWB, BLM, we'll see. I'm at a landmass managed by different people that cast their ballots in advance. I stand on a land that was discovered by someone other than pilgrims. Yeah. What's good, baby? It's been a minute. Freestyle Fresh is back. Got called in for another mission. Mission of mercy, please, please. Don't swing your sword, don't hurt me. I would never do that. Two to the back of the neck, so be quick. And you won't have to hear the shwink. That's the sound nobody likes. Honestly, I'm told it's like a tickle on the back of your neck. Guillotine, guillotine, that's a mean word. But everything French got a little twang, don't it? How your fiance rhyme with Beyonce. Black people so creative, fast twitch muscles, but we will turn an argument to a tussle. Some people call me ignorant, some call me Holyfield, nobody call me Tyson or Koch or Buster for that matter. I'm not familiar with too many famous Douglases other than Mr. Frederick. It's not my fault, you don't get the rhetoric. Gotta stand tall on ground that's level with. It's beautiful clouds in the distance, they carry it. The moisture, the water, everything that makes the plant grow from the summer to the fall. Everywhere I go, court, hoop, eyeball. Justice system is just something wrong with us, isn't it? With them. Or without them, we do bad by ourselves while we always need company. Miserable motherfuckers. I heard if you don't edit, you don't get the other brother's attention. Eyeballs, mentions, monetize your mind, extensions, hairdos, fucking weirdos. Holly, Holly, gold, Hollywood Hills, I be on a road, I be on a boat of my own choosing, hope it's no accident, hate to be losing every firearm I ever owned. It's a shame, man. Legal, registered, lost, forgotten. Indeed, different indeed. So, what have we? What have we? What have we here? Stay sane Sundays. Man. Um, I feel like I'm back. I feel like I dipped so low energy. I'm going to say health because it wasn't 100. I wasn't sick, but it wasn't 100, right? And timing was off. Missing times of just like opportunities and alignments it felt like uh it felt like a full moon that sneaks up on you that's or mercury's in retrograde people say that right that's what it felt like but yesterday it lined back up and everything just happened like bam like it's supposed to bam early oh bam right on time calls out the blue hey man would you like some money? I've got extra. I heard my account's full. Uh, me too. I got the same problem. Let's open a new account. 
shit like that. Um, <clears throat> I heard Bill Burr was on SNL. Didn't get to watch it yet. Uh, the wife and I were going to watch that together. So I'm going to save that. It's important. Some Something. Oh, what, what is that? The message? All right. Something is telling me to talk to the married people right now. If you are engaged in a holy matrimony, there are some things that you should be aware of. There are some things that you should be prepared for. There are some things that warrant a discussion. Let's get the the cliches and aphorisms out the way, right? The key to a great relationship is great communication, right? It's not 50-50, nay, it's 100-100. And I would argue it's 110, just in case the other person is only capable of giving 90 that day. It is a teamwork, It it is a team effort. I told my eldest child today, I said, doesn't your grandmother say that we're a team? He said, yes. I said, do you know how many people it takes to make a team? He said, no, I do not. (laughs) He was sobbing. He was sniffling. He was crying. Post tantrum. I said, you and me, we're a team. That's two people. That's all you need. I said, me, you and your mom, were a team. Three people. Now me, you, your mom, and your sister, we're a team. Four people. Grandparents, five people, six people, seven people, eight people, nine people. How many is on a football? Is it 11 on a football team? Right? When two or more are gathered, it's very important. The teamwork aspect. And I think, I don't know. I can't call it, right? I am my own generation. I saw how my parents did it. I saw a bit how my grandparents did it, right? You can't have the the intimate knowledge of how they work their relationship unless you're living under the same roof for an extended period of time. You gotta go through seasons with people. You gotta have ups and downs. You gotta conquer adversity. You've got to make decisions together. And something that is apparently overlooked equal risk equal reward I said that to a buddy the other day in in the context of business right in my opinion that's the key equal exposure right equal risk people talk about equity sweat equity you know capital infusions capital investments whatever Are we equally invested in what's happening? It's so very important. So, something that has helped me, us, talking about my, uh, my relationship with my wife, something that has helped me is coming to an understanding that there will be things that one person cares about more than the other. There'll be issues, right? whether that be a parenting issue or a housing issue, finance issue, whatever. The person that cares the most about it should take the lead. Even if that's, you know, we'll go back to the 100% thing, right? Even if it's 51%, 49%. The person that is more invested in the idea should take the lead. Okay? Okay? Now, we're in tricky times. I feel that it is no longer safe to say things like, the man works and provides, and the woman is the homemaker. Know your role, know it well, and improve upon it. I don't feel that is safe to say anymore. If there's politically correct ears around right progress in my opinion right now the definition 
forward momentum, positive change, okay? I don't consider the changes that have happened in the gender roles of your typical relationship, I don't consider these to be progress. I don't consider these to be positive changes. I, I consider it to be a muddying of the waters in a stream that was fairly clear, right? Now, out of necessity, you probably know this already. Pardon me uh, if you're a history buff and I get this wrong. But the point should speak for itself. You know, you know, can do Sally. I don't know if Rosie the Riveter is a trademark. So, you know, can do Sally, right? Was it World War II when you know they had a draft and the the capable young men in America had to go overseas and fight, and so the women were forced to take on different, more responsibilities, right? So they're working outside of the home, likely in addition to keeping the home in good working order, right? I don't know when the suffrage, the women's right to vote, or in property, I'm not, I don't have these facts and figures off the top of my head, but it does feel like it goes a bit, a bit hand in hand, right? And these, these things happened out of necessity, more or less. I think in a, in a quote-unquote perfect world, in a perfect uh, scenario, you'd have dedicated roles to, to make it easier, right? Delegate, division of labor. As a man, you should have a skill, you should have a trade. The ability to earn money, the, to, to provide housing and shelter. You should be able to focus on that and do it well. And, and I'm speaking in general terms and I'm speaking my opinion, understand. And it is, a, it is a strongly held opinion, but I am certainly able to change it in the face of, of new information. I may be getting a phone call here, so if we have to continue this, know that I love you and know that I want you to give your body the things that it needs to fight the disease. But in case we are not interrupted, let us continue. So, the biological clock. Oh, shout out to, uh, what's her name? Jennifer Molesky. Shout out to her. She's, um, I, like, I like the way she thinks. And her YouTube channel is, is dope. You should check it out. But she talks about these more traditional gender roles and kind of, I don't know if this is the right terminology, but she seems to be raging against modern feminism and pointing out some of the flaws in that line of thinking. So shout out to her. The woman's biological clock, regardless of whether or not in, in, her, in her youthful mind has a psychological desire to have children, to have a family, right? Regardless of that, the biological clock, right? Your genes want to reproduce, so your body's going to give you the signals, the messages like, hey, it's time to put a bun in this oven and get to nesting, right? That's the term for when a woman is pregnant and she feels the need to, you know, set up the nursery and set up the house, making it conducive for a young one, right? Building that family. And isn't that, isn't that better to be able to focus on that? Do your job, right? Isn't that better? But here we are, right? Got career-driven women. Uh, we've got men that are confused as to their, their purpose, right? They've got no real initiation, coming-of-age ceremony to understand that they are a man. Graduating high school doesn't count. I'm sorry. And, um, man, I keep hearing about these dynamics of ladies. What is this here? Point on Tuesday. Something just popped up. Anyway. 
men sitting around, not knowing what to do, getting in, getting themselves into trouble, playing video games, uh, just taking unemployment, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just, wow. The homie keeps messaging me. I feel like he might, I feel like he might need me. I don't know what to do. I don't want to lose my recording. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. Take a look at history. Take a look at why people are doing what they're doing in regards to their relationship, how you're running your household. Take a good look at it. Something that I've implemented is part of my stay sane Sunday routine. I'm going to confess something to you guys. I need to have a better routine with my son. I need to have more structured physical activities that we do together, team building. And I, I'm working on it, and I've, I've made some, some strides and some steps, but I can do better, and I will do better. Weekly family meetings to discuss finances, short-term plans, long-term plans, logistics, tactical, practical, right? Uh, contingency plans, emergency, safety, all of these things need, we need to be vigilant, right? We need to be consistent in order to be champions, all right? I hope the Lakers win tonight. That will be awesome. Um, I hope everybody accomplishes the goals that they set out to accomplish for Q4. Prosperity, blessings, health, continued learning discovery, sanity, right? Help somebody today, even if that somebody is you. Let's get some bars off real quick, and let's see who needs to talk to your boy. Freestyle Fresh. Oh, I ain't heard this one in a minute. <clears throat> Shout out to Batman. Ooh! Shout out to Batman. Batman. Shout out to you, sir. Oh, man. Yeah. I ain't heard this beat in a minute. It's a cycle and we all cyclical. Do you get it? Too many CC. Look at me. Closed caption. What's your degree? Post baccalaureate. What you master? I'm going to call you doctor if you got a tassel or it's backwards. White coat syndrome, I don't know where I'm going, but I know I'm not home, I'll be back in a couple days. Everybody likes to be home on the range, I see so many clouds in the sky, wondering if somebody is playing a harp nearby. Oh my, why ask why, when you don't know how? <laughs> Freestyle Fresh is back, y'all, on another mission of mercy. Blessings. Give your body the things it needs to fight the disease. Check the description. You know what's good. Peace and love to the family.